You know, something uh, just made me remember something, and um, it saved me from <laughs> the first time I spoke to my uh, angel dust. And uh, uh, no, it wasn't. The first time I smoked some sherm in Chicago. And, and um, when I smoked this sherm, uh, before I smoked it, they told me, man, you have to really concentrate on who you are and uh, what you're about before you smoke this because sometimes you don't come down, you stay high forever. And I'm like, damn, stay high forever? What What is they talking about? So I'm seeing, uh, I'm smoking this, this um, look like a Moore cigarette that somebody dipped into some liquid, which I found I was uh, embalming fluid. So we get in mind to go get some money. We done smoked this. And we think that we, we're moving normal, but we're moving real, real slow at everything we do. I go to a tire shop that I used to work at. We break in the tire shop. I'm looking for the safe. I can't find it. Now, we must have been moving slow, and everybody could probably see what we were doing, but it was late at night. I overlooked the money. I had an honest crook friend say, hey, man, here go the envelope with the money right here. <laughs> so we 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 get the money, and we leave the tire shop. It's, it's about 30 below zero in the wintertime. And... um. I wake up the next day, I got money in the on, under the rug. I don't know how I got it. But my friends, uh, wherever he at, in his house, and I, I'm back at my mama's house uh, after a, a night of being out that I can't remember. And it was because I smoked that sherm that I got away with everything, just luckily. Because <clears throat> once I started seeing people smoke sherm, they moving slow as hell. And they think they, that they're um, just going about uh, things normal. But they got such a smell from this uh, environment fluid reeking from their, their pores. And they're moving around slow like they're on a um, codeine syrup or something. I don't know how I got away with the robbery. So, but any, anyway, we did. Now, I mean... Man, it, it had to be a couple of thousand under my my rug, and uh, it must have supposed to went to the bank or something. And uh, I don't know how much my my honest crook buddy took. And uh, so we wake, I wake up with this money, and um, shit, I'm like, damn. And so I smoked for a little while longer, but I, I really didn't like it. You know, I really didn't like it. But uh, it brought uh, in mind um, the the answer when I smoked some uh, angel dust. I was sitting on, on the back of a convertible car going down the street. And I had smoked some uh, my my good old buddy brothers of mine uh, and his friend gave me some angel dust. And I thought I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I said, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I'm sitting on the back uh, seat with my feet in the seat, and I'm sitting on the top that's let down on the on the uh, convertible, and I I can't breathe going down down Halstead. And uh, they they pull over and stuff. And man, you can breathe if you're talking now. You can breathe and stuff. And they calm me down, but. It is so true. You have to know who you are before a lot a lot of times uh, uh, before you try any drug because you never come down or you you'll panic and you you'll probably end up killing yourself. But but the funniest thing you ever want to see in the sad too is a western town of all white people on crack. It, it was the funniest thing and, and um. I'm like, damn, I ain't never act like that. It was the funniest thing I ever seen and the saddest thing I ever seen. I don't know where these people from. They were from like, uh, shit, I think it was in Montana too or somewhere. Somebody brought some crack to Montana or or uh, it might have been uh, some other state um, up there. Um, 
but it was a western town uh like somewhere here but not you know not not phoenix but it was somewhere uh kind of man that was whatever it, whatever town it was they was responsible for textiles uh making some kind of paper or sticky paper or something maybe um Maybe uh, those uh, sticky notes or something like that. But uh, somebody brought some crack to that town and it just went through there like wildfire. And it was the funniest thing you ever want to see. All white people on crack. I mean, you talking about wild. And they smoking out of, I don't know where they get the idea of the IV bottles. And they're still using big lighters uh, to smoke crack out of IV bottles with aluminum foil wrapped around the top. I guess they the chori was outlawed, so I don't know what the hell they were doing. But uh, funny and, and saddest thing you ever seen in your life to see a whole town of white people on crack. And, and until um, it runs on Facebook or something, if I can get it back on, I would rather for it to be on YouTube because uh, it's, it's just different. You too. Is, I, I like you too. But, uh, man, shit. Some asshole brought crack to their town and it just went through like like Detroit. The Motor City or something. And uh, it just brought in mind to, uh, uh, for me to say that, to say this is uh, you have to know who you are a lot of times before you try something that you never tried before or you get trapped into uh, the dream and the, and the illusion that uh, drugs give you and never come down again in life. I've seen that happen a lot of times with different drugs that people try because their mentality is not that strong in the first place. So you have to know who you are. Uh, I've said the same thing that these uh, people <laughs> in this town said, that I ain't gonna never stop smoking crack. I have for five years at a time, two years at a time, you know, I just relapse over and over. Uh, but they were at their young stage where they talking about shit. I like crack more than life and I hate it more than life is what this girl said. <laughs> She used to be pretty too, and but somebody knocked out her teeth or for some reason or another. And uh, it was really funny and it was really sad. I, I, I wanna get that tape, uh, won't stop until I get it, uh, put it on uh, YouTube. All right, thanks.